Hello everyone, this is K7755G, also known as K7G on the Hardlight Free Space 2 forums. Today, I'm going to show you new and old modders out there for Free Space how to texture in Blender. There's a lot of um, text um, versions of how to do it short, easy, long, you know. But I thought. Well, let's do a video one that's fresh and new, up to date, as you can see, um, and help those out there. So, what we're going to do before we start doing stuff in here, um, we're going to start by simply putting something here in Google SketchUp, exporting it into Blender. Editing the hatchery or hierarchy, whatever it's called, then export it, textures, and all that into here. Check and see if they work. You know, edit them around, make sure it updates. So, so let's get started. So, first, let's go into SketchUp. Let's start by making a shape. So Meter by meter, by meter cube. But just for the, just to make it easier, so we can we get adding multiple textures to one object? We can do it. So let's just simply do this. Simple, a yeah, elegant device. There we go. One more extrusion. There we go. So there's your object guys. So now double click, make it a component. Here it doesn't really matter the name but when you are making this and you get this outline or field you want to know what's tarot, what's not. You just do the default component 0, 1, 0 and all that. You just get yourself confused. So create that, it's detail 0. Now, Go to its entity info and put in the name, the name of it. Now this is what will show up in Blender. Plus the little, you know, this little info. Yeah, we need to change that. So, close that down. It's working. Yep. Now, let's go file, export, 3D model. Navigate to it. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, in options. Make sure you have export edges, triangle all faces, and preserve component hierarchies, hatchery, whatever you want to call it. Um, make sure these are um, is selected. If not, Blender will, will have a fit and crash. It must be because it can't triangulate for UV unwrap. I have the reason. So, okay. Let's send them in. Cube. Export. The load. There we go. Go to Blender. File. Import. Collider. Go here. Cube. Import. So there we go. As you can see, it sounds something real weird. See, this is the only downside with SketchUp. You have to find all relevant pieces. So you got turret bases scattered, broken up, and turret arms. You have to find them, merge them together, get it all set up again. That's the only downside of using SketchUp and Blender. But hey, at least it's easier for me. Don't know about you. Some of you might do it in here, but I just find it easier. So, that's all done. Remove that material. See, this has already got its material inbuilt, so let's just base up on that. And name it somewhere we can understand, like so. So now, we got that. I like to name that, just so I know which mesh goes away. So, we're in edit mode, 
Thank you. I've got face selected. Makes it easier when you unwrap. In here, so let's to unwrap. So simple. Select the whole model or whatever faces you want to unwrap. For two, we're doing one whole one. We select it all. So then you go here, click new, click cube, let's color it. Let's say red. So about there. Now this doesn't really matter, but the maximum you go is 4096. This is for like developers and I know since you're texturing, you want high quality. But for sake, let's go to 2048. Wait, 2048. Now hit OK. Now, as you can see, let's put the triangle in, which is what we want. So you go image, pack image. Just because we're in edit mode, uh, whatever, just click that and it fixes itself. And you go image. Save as image, go to that folder, and rename it. Okay, you. Just so we know what it is. Save as image. Now we've got a little sent out. So now, file, export, letter. This is exporting. Yep. Okay, export it. So now, hopefully, in here, we should see one sub object and one texture. So let's see. No, oh, oh, I just clicked. I've got the, I've got this, but there's little settings down here. Go back in there. Play modifiers. This is when you're building a capital ship or a fighter. Here you got the mirror. Modifier in place. That's a really good thing to have up. These two need to be ticked. If not, you're not going to get materials or your UV mapping. So make sure they're ticked. So export it. Okay, now let's try that again. So now, open. Cube. Open. There we go. There's a hole. And there's a texture. As you can see, nice red. You don't want to see that flying at you. So now, if I go in here. See, it's doubled it. So let's bring this guy up. Cube one. Open. Let's put a um, blue circle in the middle of it. You know. Yeah. Save it now. Now, hopefully, I should recognize it. Oh, okay. So saving it externally doesn't seem to be doing it. So, okay, note to self, people. When you go pack and, save and export, it automatically sends it out. So, whoops. I didn't, I didn't see that one coming, guys. So let's reopen this guy up. Open this one up and put a big boot on it. Yeah, a big one. So, save. Reload. There we go. Look, oh my god, it's got polka dots. <laughs> They're a bit stretched, but that's blender for you. I'm trying to make sure they're all the same. But now, let's go onto the more slightly complex bit. Not to put multiple textures. So we're going to make these edges in the center two different cuts. But to do that, it's simple. We've already got this set up here. But let's just make sure we're going to restart it. So, re export this. Yeah. This is just so we can start on a clean slate. Just so there's no errors. So, reload, delete that one, re import, login oh, cube. Join them. Delete. Rename. And delete a texture. 
Ah, edit mode. It annoys the hell out of me when it doesn't. A texture. Click that, then none. Doesn't really affect this in the end pro product, but it's still better off to do it. Just in case. Now, here comes the fun part. So, we know that. So now we got cube one. So, add a new texture. Cube two. Now, edit mode. Now, we want these. So now click this, click assign. Now hopefully you should select them. Yes, one of them seems to be selected. And this one. Just select them. Should I select the centers? Like so. Now select the hat one. New texture. Cube two none. Okay, let's do one because it's selected. Same story. Set the size. Set the name and the color. Let's do something different. Let's go blue. Okay. Image pack. Okay, now it's packaged in. So now, deselect him, select him, and then same thing, new, set your size, that name, let's get this one, and then green. There we go, let's darken out of it. There we go. Okay. Hmm. That looks a bit odd. Let's just make sure it works. Pack. Okay. It's packaged in. Okay. So now, file, export. But, uh, here, select him. Modifiers are still set. Brilliant. Export. So now, hopefully, yes, we've got two textures. Reopen him. Hopefully, you should see two textures. See? There we go. Two separates. Cube 2. The outsides. And cube 1. The insides. Look at that. That's how you put it single and multiple textures on one object. And how to export it from Sketch all the way into Blender. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully this has helped the newest modders in our community get texturing and start adding their ships, stations, whatever they come up with to the forums and help make it bigger and better. This is K7G, signing off. See you guys on the forums. See yous.